Hello and welcome to this video lecture. My name is Wilfred Ngwa. I am an infectious disease epidemiologist and microbiologist. I am also the founder of EpiGuider. In this video, I will be showing you how to perform spatial analysis of data using QGIS and Snapjade. Excited? Let's move on. So just what exactly will you learn in this video? You will be learning how to represent data on a map using QGIS and Snapjade. You will also be learning how to use spatial data analysis to make evidence-based recommendations or decisions. If I will have done my job right, then you should be able to one, install QGIS and Snapjade on your computer. You will be finding out what these are in a bit. Two, you should be able to create a basic map using QGIS and Snapjade. And three, you should be able to use such a map to make recommendations or decisions that are evidence-based. Your final output at the end of this video should look like the map displayed. I'm expecting you to make me proud at the end of this video with a beautiful map. Our lesson will take the following outline. First, we will look at what QGIS is. Then we will proceed to look at how to install both the QGIS and Synergy software on a computer. I will then walk you through the data set we will be representing on our map, which will be the map of Cameroon, the country where I come from. We will then move over to obtaining shapefiles for Cameroon. If you don't know what shapefiles are, don't worry, that will come to light in a moment. Moving on, we will look at the QGIS interface or dashboard. Down the line, we will move over to using QGIS to represent our data set on the map of Cameroon. To make our map fancy and easy for users to comprehend, we will take it to Snapchat. With a ready map, we will now see how to use this map to make key recommendations that are evidence-based. See yourself as armed with knowledge to face the Minister of Health. Let's now take a look at what QGIS is. It is a free open source cross-platform desktop geographic information system application or software that supports viewing, editing, and analysis of geospatial data. By free, I mean users besides being able to download and install the software for free also have the freedom to run, copy, distribute, study, change and improve the software. By being an open source software, the source code, the source code is released under a license in which the copyright holder grants users the rights to use, study, change and distribute the software to anyone and for any purpose. By a cross-platform software, I mean the software is implemented on multiple computing platforms. A geographic information system or GIS is a conceptualized framework that provides the ability to capture and analyze spatial and geographical data. Geospatial data is data about objects, events, or phenomena that have a location on the surface of the Earth. The location may be static in the short term, like in the case of a road, or dynamic, like in the case of the spread of an infectious disease. Let me now show you how to download and install both software. Both the QGIS and Synergit software can be downloaded online using the links displayed. Synergit, unlike QGIS, is a screen capture and recording software. It is not free, but there is a trial version which is completely free for 15 days. Just enough time for you to attain your objective for this course and produce your map. Based on which you choose to install first, all you have to do is copy the link displayed and paste in your browser. 
you can also just click the link directly from the comment section of this video. Well, let me show you how to do this. Let's begin with downloading and installing the QGIS software. Copy the link. And paste in your browser. Hit the enter key. And the QGIS website is displayed. I am installing for Windows, so I will use the first option. But if you have a Mac, you can scroll down and use the Mac version. So I will go back to the Windows version. You double click. And as you can see, the software is downloaded. It takes quite a short time if your internet connection is good. You now click on show all, show folder, and it takes you to where the software is stored in your computer. You double click on this to launch your download. So this is what you have. I already have QGIS installed on my computer, so I will click no. But for you, you should click on yes and accept all default options. To download and install Synapjit, you carry out a similar procedure. Copy and paste the Synapjit link on your browser to display the website as shown. You now click on free trial to download the free trial version which is available for 15 days. Based on the operating system you're using, you can either download for Windows or for Mac. Since I'm using the Windows operating system, I'm going to download for Windows. The download process now runs and you can now follow the rest of the post procedure we use for QGIS installation to install your software. That we have our software installed, let's take a look at the data set we will be representing on the map. The data displayed is re-cumulative data for Cameroon from the beginning of the COVID-19 outbreak on March 6, 2020 up to the 6th of June 2020. We have the data stratified by the 10 regions that make up the country. I have displayed some variables. Let's look at them. We have on the first column the names of the different regions. On the second column, the population of each region. On the third, the total number of cases registered per region. Then we have the total number of deaths. The total number of persons who have recovered from the disease. The total number of health workers infected. The percentage of health workers infected as a function of the total number of cases, the crude fatality rate, which is the number of deaths divided by the total number of cases, an indicator that shows the severity of the disease by region, the mortality rate among closed cases by region. Closed cases are cases which have had an outcome, that is, all those who have either died or recovered from the disease. This is calculated as deaths divided by the sum of dead and recovered cases. This provides an indication, among other things, of how well or poorly cases are being managed by region. The next variable is the number of laboratories with ability to test for COVID-19 by region. Then we have the attack rate which is the number of cases as per the population of each region. This is an indication of the spread of the disease. And finally, we have the recovery rate, which is the number of recovered cases on the total number of cases registered. We will be displaying the following variables on our map. The attack rate, the recovered cases, the active cases, deaths, and number of laboratories with capacity to test for COVID-19. 
We aim to convince the Minister of Health to create more testing laboratories in the regions of the country. You can download this Excel file from my website and use it to practice. My website link is displayed on the left bottom corner of this slide.